Today, Pinky and I are going to talk about how to take a horse's breathing rate or respiration rate. Why do we want to do this? Well, we want to do this because it's a good idea to have a, a normal measure of your horse's respiration rate on a, daily, on a daily level, but it can also be helpful for finding out if there is a problem with your horse, um, be it an illness or an injury, and breathing rate can help to indicate this. Um, we'd want to do this somewhere where it was safe, clean and nice and quiet for the horse so there was nothing affecting the um, breathing rate um, and putting it up, that there was, um, it was a safe place to keep the horse and there's no harm of injury to the horse or the, or the handler um, <laughs> and also that it's clean. You don't want to be in a really dusty place because that will affect the horse's respiration as well and you wouldn't want them to have that nose in a hay net or things like that because that will make them sniff the hay net, hay net and give you a false reading. Um, we like to do this ideally at the same time every day because that gives you a good idea about the normal reading for the horse's breathing rate. You wouldn't want to do it straight after exercise or when you brought the horse in from the field um, or something had excited them um, or upset them like another horse coming into the yard. So if you sort of observe them for about 10 minutes before they do it just to make sure that they're nice and calm and quiet and then you take the reading. So now we're going to look at Pinky's respiration rate. Um, he's tied up um, and he ha he's not round food or anything like that, so we'll hopefully just get the normal breathing rate. Um, there's nothing going on in here and it's nice and quiet, so there's nothing to raise his respiration rate. And what we're looking for um, is the rise and fall of um, his rib cage. Um, and that will give us how many breaths a minute. We'll count it for 15 seconds and then we'll multiply it by four. So Pinky took around two and a half breaths during the 15 second period, so we'll multiply that by four, which will give us 10 breaths per minute. So that's towards the low end of the scale, but he looks nice and relaxed and happy, um, and that's fine for him. So today we've shown you how to take a horse's respiration rate. If you are concerned about your horse, if it's out with its normal level of breathing rate, please do consult your vet as it may be a sign that there is a problem.